Hello, this is Cleantech Business TV for Solar Business Club from the 36 uh, EU PVSEC here in Marseille, in France. And now we are together with uh, Anis uh, Jouini. Yes. yes, Anis Jouini, who is a CEO of uh, Sua Ines, but also in Solar Business Club, he's a co chairman of Cleantech Disruption Chapter. So, Anis, uh, bonjour, uh, hello. How, bonjour, how are you? Thomas. Fine, really, thank you. A little bit exhausted after five successful days. I feel happy and with uh, with after this um, say meeting a lot of old friends and new friends and uh, talking about uh, some subject moving them towards um, I would say concrete and constructive result yeah feeling comfortable feeling happy and ready for the next yes so uh, we met recently uh, at uh, Ines yes yeah good. in uh, Le Lac de Bourget, yes, and we had a great time, but also we are working on the first concept of uh, Cleantech Startup Hub, yes, yeah. of Solar Business Club, uh, in partnership, in cooperation with Ines. So, um, uh, why actually uh, did you decide to, you know, support this initiative, and uh, why do you think it's important for industry? Uh, we say we are a technology provider, our main work is innovation. And today, you don't need to keep this innovation in a closed box or just in, on a paper. You need to bring it to the market, to bring it through spin-off or startup company, just to uh, show the potential for the next step. And it can also screen among three to, to four ideas because there is a lot of clever idea around us. We should go through this in order to make this idea happen and to bring it to the market and to shorten the time mm -hmm between, I would say, PowerPoint, I would say, presentation, till the power production plant, and, yeah, to bring it to the market. And to bring it to the people, yeah? And, and to bring it very, very quickly to the people, and it's another way to convince all this ecosystem, turning around with the technology provider, financial, uh, people who are uh, producing, and they want, they want something to to help them to be more and more competitive and all the time with cost reasonable and cost competitive. And I think this is the best proof of concept when you are producing at a small scale and bring this technology very close to the user. So Anis, um, can you tell us more about Ines? Because recently uh, there was quite a lot of uh, improvements uh, yeah. in the structure. And you know, bes besides the fact that you are working you know, on one of the most beautiful places on earth, yeah. yes, <laughs> uh, you are making also great jobs. So could you update us, yes? What is now the situation with Ines and what is your uh, strategy? I would say it's quite simple. Belonging to the mother company CEA at the Litten Institute, our main work is innovation gathering, uh, I would say, 500 mixed people coming, some of them coming from the academ academic world, some of them from the industrial world, to understand the need of industry. And those people also, they have something particular, working together through uh, covering the whole value chain. And, uh, and putting also, taking care about investing, investing in people and investing also in our platforms. So all this ingredient make, make the total of the equation uh, fruitful that we will be able to compete with the best players, bringing some records, more than 20% efficiency in heterojunction cells, Gen 8 uh, cast mono ingots, uh, fully mono, very close to be full, fully mono, uh, more than 300, uh, 412 What's module last year and this year we are preparing, I would say, similar results in agreement with our roadmap for that. Uh, recently we disclosed more than 20% efficiency fully proviscite at the module level 11 square centimeters. You got a lot of applause, yeah? Yeah, this <laughs> was appreciated and thank you too much for that. You were, you were there also to, to see this together and getting the respect of those big players. I think we are fulfilling our mission, which is be innovative, be competitive, while not making innovative, which crazy innovation which does not fit to industry. Innovation which can fit with industry and we can transfer it in the very short term uh, to, um, to a larger scale. Uh, so this is, I would say, what helps us to wake up every day, in just to make this happen and to be, uh, to be among the best in class. Of course, we are, uh, we are very, very open to make it globally to make it with other colleagues, equipment manufacturer, material provider, end users, other institutes whether in Europe in the world. So yeah, this is leaders yeah, in Solar exactly. Business Club. Exactly. And leaders in Solar Business Club, they are bringing to us 
the real vision, the real need of the market, and from a research institute, we need the real vision, not today, but tomorrow and after tomorrow. And this is very tough for PV and for solar, because curves are not going like this, curves are going like this. And uh, compared to other type of energy, when curves are, are a little bit stable or going down, so people, are that, if they are thinking to invest, then the answer is clear. You have just to look to the near future and to go for it. Yes, because uh, the future started yesterday. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And this e ecosystem of renewable, this industry of renewable, it's rising up very quickly, but it's just the beginning. And I think tomorrow it will be much bigger and more competitive, more sustainable, and going for some logic and normal standardization. So uh, a lot of people, they say always, you know, together we are stronger, but afterwards they come back to their office, you know, and they work by, the, by, by themselves, yes? But uh, I noticed that uh, at Ines is different, yes? Because yeah. you have more than 100 partners, yes? Yeah. We, uh, we succeeded together around us more than 100 partners. Of course, uh, there is a trend between innovation. Oh, it needs to be open. And people, they think what, when it's open, means cannot protect it. No. We can make it open and can protect it, but you need also people from the other side who respect IP and who respect, I would say, common roadmaps. And I think one institute itself cannot make it. We need an ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And the value chain for the energy, renew, for renewable energy is really too long. You need to cover it with all the right people. And you have to pick the best in class mm -hmm. to be among the best in this world because it's very, very, very competitive. When we, when we look to the total capacity of installed PV and the decrease of the price, it's, it's amazing. No one can predict this. 40% learning rate, it's, it's really unbelievable and you cannot see it in other technology. So yeah, and, but we like it like this because it's challenge, challenging and it's pushing us for, to do the best from ourselves and we will continue. Yeah. Okay, so we spoke uh, and it's about solar, but uh, Ines is not only about solar, yes? You have immobility, you have uh, the building integration, etc. So could you also elaborate on that? How do you see, you know, the role of solar in this whole uh, changing paradigm? I would say the intermittence of solar needs to think about storage, with the batteries, hydrogen and many other solutions. On the other side, we have the cost of solar. Kilowatt hour, it's now we have seen number below two cents, which is unbelievable. So it's opening the door for other source of, I would say, of technology and giving them a large room. If we are targeting 100 kilowatt hour, 100 dollar per, uh, per megawatt hour or, uh, or 10 cents, that is giving at least a wide, wide uh, window for 80 uh, euro a megawatt hour for for other technologies so i would say today solar is helping the whole solution yeah? yeah is helping other solution to came to the market and to get strong progress like solar so producing clean energy then you need to think about clean mobility cars they can re they are really rethinking with electrical cars with uh, solar powered electrical cars people they think the cost will be too high this is not true it's like a small utility on the wheel exactly exactly so this is an example uh, thinking about two sources of energy and you adding to this uh, some source of storage mm -hmm. and adding to this a car in the middle so the system is becoming very quickly complex so you need some uh, to put it to make it smart a little bit here and to think about energy management system for this we are very active in this energy management system needs some investment at the software level similar to the hardware level so, and then we are very active bringing uh, power electronics in this, in this game, because the PV system, we have a part, big part of the cost is the module, and other part of the cost is uh, the, rest of, uh, the rest of the system. Uh, there is one word which came, we are making a module, we are making an inverter, but we will think heavily for the integration. Integrating this to the network, integrating this in different devices, but also we think about economical integration. For this we have uh, uh, an institute for energy transition called Ines Solar Solution, just dealing with this. So Anis, uh, just last question as you are here at EUPVSEC, uh, how did you enjoy and uh, did you think it was successful? 
Yeah, I would say it's really more than enjoyable. It's really uh, you feel much comfortable. You find uh, you find that European PVC of old times is back. Uh, you have lost almost um, a lot of talented people and uh, and uh, worldwide coming with, uh, from Asia, US, and uh, and Europe. Uh, you feel much more opening between the exchange of people with very a lot of nice talks and um, side event uh, side events and uh, and the main session yeah i would say i, I really enjoyed it i really liked it home home here in france in marseille also this is adding uh, some special taste yeah it was really nice okay so we are finishing also our lamp just you know <laughs> broke yes i think because all the booths uh, around are being dismantled so uh, you said anis that uh, uh, with all the activities, you are on the top. And I wish you that uh, in the future you are over the top. Thank you very much. I appreciate really exchanging with you and with all the members of, uh, of our Solar Business Club. And yeah, let's keep to cross fingers that this industry is going up and up again. And we'll try to bring our small piece uh, on the table. Thank you very much, okay. Thomas. Thank you so much. Thumbs up for Solar. <laughs> Thumbs up for Ines and also for the last interview at uh, 36 EUPVSEC here. Thank you so much.